Which you guys got another video here for you. This is another repair video. So let's take a look at the repair for today. So if you're going into the start button here, into settings, and then you open up your Windows settings pane here. What we want to do is go into update and security, into your recovery, and you go ahead and you want to reset your PC. Then when you click on get started here and you go keep my files you try and run this and you'll get could not find the recovery environment insert the windows installation or recovery media and restart your pc uh, with the media so that's basically the error message right there what you're going to get when you're trying to recover your pc now there's a reason for this is either it's been disabled or it's been corrupted in some way shape or form so what we're going to do is go down to the search box here and type cmd uh, and this is going to open up our command prompt right click on this and run this as administrator it's important that you run this as administrator once we've got this open what we can do is then type in here our command just like so push enter and this will hopefully uh, rectify your problem if you see operation uh, successful hopefully this has fixed your problem so let's just check the information by typing this command in as you can see here and this will give us the information about the Windows uh, recovery environment here. So you can see it's now enabled and uh, we now have this working. And you can also see the Windows recovery environment location is uh, listed here. Now, if you're still having issues and this won't uh, fire up, uh, you can run that in the command prompt to see whether it uh, finds it. But if it doesn't, it means it's not on your system and you need to create a recovery environment. And I'll show you how to do that. First off, you're going to need to get a USB flash drive, and I've got one plugged in here, only a 32 gigabyte one, but that'll be enough. Go down to the search box and type in here, recovery, and you should see create a recovery drive. You can now create a recovery drive and click yes. And this will open up the recovery software where we can create our recovery drive. You can see backup system files to the recovery drive. Click next, and this will go ahead and start to build your recovery drive it will select your USB flash drive and then you can click next you need a over 8 gigabytes here it will wipe all the data on that drive so be prepared for it to be formatted and then click on create and this will go ahead and create your recovery drive you can then boot to that uh, USB flash drive and do the recovery process via that now also you've got this other site here which I'll leave up which is Microsoft which gives you all the recovery options uh, for Windows 10 and this should cover uh, every recovery option available to you before you would have to do a fresh install of your operating system and sometimes that is the case where you just can't seem to get it working if that is the case then back up all your data and then do a nice uh, clean fresh install of your operating system so let's just test here just to make sure everything is okay So go back into update and security, into recovery, and uh, get started. And then we can try our keep the files. And there we go. It's working. Anyway, that's about it for this video. I hope this one helps you out. It's just a quick video. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching, guys, and thanks for your continued support. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, Hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.